What's up, Hillbillies? I am in Peru on top of a mountain where 13,000 feet. We are at the Biachas village. And they are a remote, sustainable village up here. And uh, today we're gonna be learning about how to make chicha, which is corn beer, and also learning about potatoes, which is incredible. Uh, to be invited up here is such a pleasure. And uh, this is not a normal place that tourists get to come. Um, so you're not gonna see touristy things, you're gonna see real life uh, for people that aren't inside the city. So it's incredible. We're gonna take you along for the journey, but guys, get a load of this place, it's incredible. And you can see the ancient terraces all the way up. We've got our local resident with us, David. And David is, uh, uh, while we're at these areas, he's, be, he's able to show us, hey, what part of this has probably been in service for hundreds of years. I'm not, I'm not a local resident, I'm the resident archeologist. The resident archeologist. <laughs> But you can see the terracing all the way up the mountain. More like visiting archaeologists. And we're going to be getting... As well here, there's some older terraces on the side of this mountain. And some of these terraces could be pre -Inca. possibly pre-Inca, which is incredible. We have traditional Andean cheese, three types of potatoes. And it's all made by the family. It's all made and grown by the family here. And we have a tea. There's sorrel in the tea. And they said that when the farmers can't eat, but they can't drink, they don't, they don't have enough water while they're farming, they'll grab the sorrel and they'll eat and chew it. And they also have this, this basket here is just different teas that they pick. Different herbs. Different herbs, and they pick and put in the water for tea. For many ceremonies or tradition in the Andes, when they made a hard work in the farming areas, they used to like bring a lot of this drink in order to have a nice journey every day. So here the lady is connecting like three varieties of corn that we have here. Parajay, this one, the white one. Uwina, the yellow one. And Biscoron. Native names that this corn that we have more in this, just in this village, more than seven varieties. It's beautiful. That's not a bees. Mm, no, no bees. Pa, para qué es esto, mami? Para qué usan esto? Um, ah, tienen, hacen a miel también. It is bees. It's for bees. Oh. Ah, pero ahora, at but the then, moment, there is no bees. No there, bees. But usually it's for bees. And this is the ichu, no? Ichu grass. The ichu grass. This is growing up at more than 10,000 feet, and we here we can see. They're that really using it, really. It's not a recreation. They're actually using it. And we see from here, they are not cheating. They are using just ichu. No plastics in the middle, no, no like... They're not cheating, they're just really using it. Exactly. And they have to rebuild it maybe every one year and a half. And change the ichu for them. Wow. 100% waterproof, eh? You are boiling now the water. And the lady wanna like... The corn. <laughs> if you touch this part of the ceramic, this is not hot, eh? It's not hot? It's not hot. You can touch it and hold it. They're using one in, like, interesting plant that the Spanish people introduced to this area, that is the eucalyptus. Really good for combustion, no? too quickly and you can make a really quick fire with that oh. least dry because the oil stuff exactly because the high oil content it burns really really easily and with a high btu um i'm not sure about the high btu part but it burns really easily because of the oil content so um they love to use it here it's invasive it grows very quickly so they're constantly cutting it back and they never run out of the resource and uh so it's in about five minutes. Yeah. The chicha is now boiling on the inside and they're going to uh, be mixing in some additional plants. You can mix it with like different kinds of fruits too. You can mix it with the strawberries nowadays. Strawberries. Some people use also like mangoes to make different kind of like types of chicha. 
And I was talking with a lady, and the lady said that they, they are like making their own chicha every day. So it's uh, sugar? Mm -hmm. So this is a daily thing. Every day they're going to be making this. Daily thing, yeah. So one family can do it here, and they practice one like traditional work here that is called Aini. I share this with other people. So this family prepared chicha today, tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow, another group of other family want to prepare the chicha and they want to share with this family too. So basically they made this just for drinking every day. Sometimes can be fermented, sometimes not. How long does it take to ferment? 30 minutes. The ladies say 30 minutes. 30 minutes for fermentation. Fermentation, yeah, but you want to have a really good fermentation, like more alcoholic like fermentation, you can wait for three or four days. Three or four days. Yeah. So we were just talking about the schooling community here in Pisac, uh, in this village here in uh, Biacha. And what we we're they were saying was, so in normal in Peru you have, in the United States we have first through 12th grade that everyone can attend, mm -hmm. right? You maybe have kindergarten. Um, but then if you want to go to college after that, it's uh, you have to pay uh, usually. And But in Peru, it's mm -hmm. one, one through 11. For this local community, it's one through four. And if they want, they have to go to Pisac. Yeah, the rest. That is like 40 minutes away from here by bus. So yeah. And so many communities here, we are lucky. We our bus was able to drive basically right up to here. But higher up on the mountain is more communities, and they may be they have to walk maybe 30 to 40 minutes a day to then get on a bus to go 40 minutes to Pisac, and then at the end of the day do the same thing. Well, but their families may need them from farming. So most people stop at maybe four, fourth grade? Some people, yeah. yeah. Some people, yeah, it uh, stops at four, or maybe they go until six, and then they have to like go the family business, work in the family business, like be a farmers. Here. Wow, incredible. Also here, there are no uh, a clinic, uh, like medical service here. No medical service. So if someone gets injured, mm -hmm. then they're at least two hours away. Yeah, at least, you, well, the closest hospital is in Pisa. But imagine you have a terrible injury here. How are you gonna like go to that place? There are no many buses that pass in these roads every day. Only one in the morning around 7 a.m. and the other one is going uh, all the way up to here around 5 p.m. So right now they're gonna be mixing. They do this every day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be mixing in azúcar. Azúcar, profe. Sugar, brown yeah. sugar. You're sifting it through a screen. See what's going on here. And what? What's in there? K. Okay. Aha. A chicha. Aha. Oh, so this is the, the previous, previous chicha. It was a little bit fermented and yeah, it has for a four days. Four days. Yeah. So, so he, he's putting a little bit of the chicha in order to like help this one to get fermented more quickly. So that's where all the um, <clears throat> that's where all the yeast is coming from, or the previous fermentation. So they're adding the sugar. The sugar is probably directly for food, for the yeast. And so this is hot. So they're, they're adding the chicha directly. Even though it's hot? Mm hmm. Even though it's hot. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And then she pours that in. Oh, as a sieve to filter it out. She's just discarding the corn off the side. So, so it takes a process. It takes some time. It takes some time to do it. But when they are practicing this every day, they slay more easily. No? Mm. And what do they do with the corn? Give it to the feed the animals. Feed the animals. The with chicken it afterwards. Yeah, chicken. Sh like the the pollo. Pollo. <laughs> Maybe we wanna pass, uh, usually the community is living in families, like uh -huh. together, groups of families together. So maybe one of like another family, the siblings of them, clearly they have bees. 
We're gonna ask on the way down in order to see the potatoes. They can show some of those bees, no? To us. And we're gonna go up higher to the lakes. We're gonna break David's record. Yep. So she already mixed it, no? Part of the corn that we will boil it mm -hmm. with the previous chicha fermented in mm -hmm. order to like get quickly resolve a fermented chicha and now we want to try it. Eh? Well, we're going to try it right now. Yeah, we're going to try it right now. So she's bringing us some cups. Which is she needed 30 minutes though? Normally she's taking like 30 minutes, but the, for the percent of alcohol is really low. Mm -hmm. But you wait four days or five days, more time than that, the fermentation is like getting like more and more strong. Mm. So that's why we're using the previous chicha in order to show you how it's like the fermentation. Uh, so they're gonna put this in a different jar. In different jar, yeah. And then that's just gonna sit for 30 minutes or four days. Yeah. And this was just to show us maybe some flavor from ours. Yeah, for us, for so try we can it. try it. Yeah. But basically after it's done, it would look like this mm -hmm. four days later. Yeah. Salud. Thank you. Gracias. Mm. It's a very different flavor than beer. It's almost like a wine. A wine, yeah. Very, very sweet. Because mm. of the sugar. Yeah, sweet. Uh, oh, the sugar we just put in it. Mm -hmm. uh, almost tastes like molasses a little bit. Usually, they, uh, the ladies say when they are working farming, uh -huh. and they are like farming the potatoes that we are missing now, before they work, they drink a little bit, and they like sharing a little bit with the air that they want to work in. Okay. It's a tradition. So, so they'll drink it before they do the work. Exactly, and then in the middle, and when then they have the lunch. You know? And how much uh, does people drink every day of this? ¿Cuánto más o menos toman al día? 15 palpaicos. Yeah. Last 10 palpaicos, 12 palpaicos. So she say uh, he's like in three times in a day they are drinking this. Mm -hmm. during Everyone, the journey. Everyone, yeah. So approximately like like almost one liter. Per day. Almost a liter per day. Per day yeah. for everybody. For everybody. And starting at what age? Just youngest. Yeah. ¿A qué edad empiezan a tomar con alcohol las personas? 18. Yeah, 18. 18. 18 years old. They can like use the ferment. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. But in the beginning, the first, when it's light, when it's the first light, the pores that you have it, is light. That it could be for children, mm -hmm. no have alcohol. Yeah, they have it before the fermentation occurs. Exactly, before the fermentation, the children can have it. Oh. Mm -hmm. How was it? Very, Very good. good. I like it. Great. Muy bien. Oh, so she say the color that we have now, is because we're using just the corn and a little bit of sugar. Mm. But if you want to change the color and give more flavor to it, you can add like different kind of cereals that we have, like mm. like kiwicha, like also we can use fruits like strawberries, ah. or we can use barley to, to give and a different barley. kind of flavor. So every day they're making two liters of this two liters. for their family personally. Mm -hmm. We assisted them today making it. Exactly, we are assisting them and this that is living here now, this that is living here. They're gonna, they're gonna drink this two or three days from now. Yeah, from now. Oh. We're supporting them in the next journeys. Uh -oh. they have. Yeah. Nice. Muy bien. And what do you say? Salud. 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 Oh, como como se encuentra? Tomai kui turai. Tomai kui turai. Tomai kui. Tomai kui. Salud turai. Ohai kui. Ohai kui. Tomai kui. Ohai kui. Sumata. To my way. Want to try some? It's good. You have it? Yeah. Oh. And you know, it does taste similar to the, the chicha, the purple one. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of tastes similar. Yeah. Ah. Muy bien. Boom, bam, 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 bam